Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today we're going to do a very, very quick uh, little tutorial to show you guys how to safely check the direction that a weapon motor is spinning on a combat robot. Now normally you run uh, brushless weapon motors and especially outrunner weapon motors on combat robots. This is what this video is all about, working out which way they're spinning without attaching the weapon and having to spin it up and guess which way it is. And thankfully all you need outside of your robot is a piece of paper. Uh, so I'm going to do this on my combat robot, my Antweight combat robot. This is a party. Let's get started. So to do this, you want your motor attached to your ESC and your wiring harness. You also need your transmitter. Make sure your transmitter is turned on. Turn on your wiring harness. Make sure that there is no weapon connected to your ESC. Here you can see I just splay out the connections to the motor because those are still soldered and not shielded yet. So I want to make sure they don't touch. <laughs> I then spin the motor up, grab the piece of paper, and carefully poke the motor with the corner of the paper. And as you can see, it bends down and back towards the body of the robot. That means that the motor is spinning down at the back and up at the front, which is the correct spin rotation for a vertical spinner like this one. So there you go, it is a quick and easy way to do this. This is actually a tip that I got off of somebody who flies quads. Uh, quite a lot and they have to constantly check the direction of their brushless motors. I only showed you my brushless motor spinning in one direction in this video because I set it up like that and it spun the right direction first time so I didn't bother changing it over. Uh, but you could see that if it was going the wrong way then the paper would have curled out uh, towards this side of the table and that would have meant that the uh, motor was spinning in the wrong direction i.e. down at the front and up at the back and I would need to change over two of the wires to get the motor to spin the right way again. So there you go, this has just been a quick one. I hope this has helped some of you out there and I will see you in the next video.